Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Does apple cider vinegar have miraculous health benefits? In this video, I'll share what is vinegar, what is apple cider vinegar, ACV's health benefits, and health risks. To begin, what is vinegar? Vinegar is a solution of water, acetic acid, and trace chemicals. For consumer vinegars, Acetic acid ranges from 4 to 8 percent by volume. That means 100 milliliters of vinegar has 4 to 8 milliliters of acetic acid. The rest is mostly water. Acetic acid is a colorless liquid made by fermentation or synthetically. Its main uses are as a reagent, solvent, antiseptic, and in foods. For consumer vinegars, the concentration is about 4 to 8 percent, commercial vinegar up to 40 percent, and glacial acetic acid 99.9 percent. A wide variety of foods can be fermented to make acetic acid. Consumer vinegars are made from apple and apple cider, distilled white, red and white wine, balsamic, rice, wheat, barley, millet, sorghum, sugarcane, coconut, berries, kiwi, and pomegranate. Apple cider vinegar, abbreviated ACV, is made from apple cider or apple must. Must is crushed fruit containing seeds, skin, and stems. Wine is made from grape must. Apple cider vinegar can be filtered and pasteurized, filtered and unpasteurized, or unfiltered and unpasteurized. Unfiltered ACV includes the mother of vinegar. The mother contains a type of cellulose and acetic acid bacteria that turns alcohol into acetic acid in the presence of oxygen. Mother can also be found in wines. Exposed to too much oxygen, it turns the wine into vinegar. The presence of mother is not a sign of spoilage. Some people believe ACV's health benefits are due to mother. Some people believe ACV's health benefits, proclaimed on social media and the internet, are the greatest discovery since penicillin. Websites have eye-catching post titles about proven health benefits backed by science. In most cases, the proven health benefits are backed by small, unproven human studies or animal studies. And they never mention most proven science-based health benefits are from industry-funded research. Claimed health benefits include may help you lose weight, contains an abundance of healthy stuff, can help kill harmful bacteria, may lower blood sugar and manage type 2 diabetes, improves heart health in animals, and may improve skin health. Most include the caveat may and are usually vague and ambiguous. If apple cider vinegar had proven health benefits, they could make claims like lose up to one pound of body fat per week without changing your diet, kills harmful food bacteria like E. coli and good bacteria, prevents blood sugar spikes and reduces the risk of developing type 2 diabetes, prevents heart attacks and strokes, and tightens skin, reducing wrinkles. Like dietary supplements, ACV is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease except in some lab animals. ACV science is so unproven, researchers don't know if the claimed health benefits are due to acetic acid or mother. If the health benefits are due to acetic acid, any vinegar should provide the same health benefits. If ACV's health benefits are due to mother, then filtered ACV provides zero health benefits. 
Probably the most popular ACV health benefit is that it may help you lose weight. In a country where over 60% of the adult population is overweight or obese, anything that claims to increase weight loss gets a lot of attention. How does ACV help you lose weight? Most websites use a 12-week 2009 study involving 175 obese Japanese. Since the websites target whites, Japanese is replaced by people. The websites provide no information about age, gender, BMI, people who dropped out of the study, etc. For this information, you must find and read the report. Most people understand scientific terms like millimoles, ANOVA, activated protein kinase, and alanine aminotransferase. At least one website included participants consumed ACV along with a high-carb meal. The study's results were that participants felt fuller longer decreased intake by 200 to 275 calories, one tablespoon of ACV caused a 2.6 pound weight loss, two tablespoons caused 3.7 pounds. The average weight loss was 0.2 to 0.3 pounds per week, or a whopping 3 to 5 ounces a week. You can achieve the same weight loss by cutting 200 calories a day from your diet. Eliminate two slices of bread or equivalent calories. Another health benefit is that ACV contains an abundant of healthy stuff. Consumer vinegars are about 5% acetic acid and 95% water. Water is essential for life. It has a few minerals, but no vitamins. That's why there are vitamin and mineral enriched waters. Except for balsamic vinegar, most vinegars are nutrient deficient and have no nutrition facts label. ACV supplements are also nutrient deficient. What does 450 milligrams of ACV mean? Is it 450 milligrams of acetic acid or mother? One cup of ACV weighs about 240 grams. One tablespoon weighs about 15 grams. At 5% acidity, one tablespoon has 0.75 grams or 750 milligrams of acetic acid. Assuming the 450 milligrams is acetic acid, one tablespoon of ACV has about 70% more than this dietary supplement. Another claimed health benefit is that it can kill harmful bacteria. Vinegars have been used for culinary and medicinal purposes for thousands of years. Beets pickled with a 50-50 solution of water and vinegar last a year or more refrigerated and longer using hot water bath canning processes. At 5% acidity, consumer vinegar is a weak antibacterial solution. It's not recommended for killing dangerous viruses. Your stomach's hydrochloric acid is about 1,000 times more concentrated than ACV's acetic acid. Anything that kills bad bacteria can also kill good bacteria. Overusing antibacterial products can contribute to the spread of antibiotic-resistant superbugs. Another exaggerated health benefit is that ACV may reduce blood sugar levels and manage type 2 diabetes. One study used to support this claim is that five healthy people reduced blood sugar 31% after eating 50 grams of white bread. This small study excluded people with type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes. Another study of people with type 2 diabetes who took two tablespoons of ACV before bedtime lowered their fasting blood sugar 4%. 
Normal fasting blood sugar is less than 100 milligrams per deciliter. A person is diagnosed as diabetic if their blood sugar level is 126 milligrams per deciliter or higher. Reducing fasting blood sugar by 4% does not prevent or cure diabetes. Reducing added sugars in your diet will reduce blood sugar levels more than adding ACV to your diet. Another health benefit is improving heart health in animals. Animal study health benefits are rarely duplicated in people. But if your mice or rats have high cholesterol and triglycerides, you can try adding ACV to their diet. The final health benefit is may improve skin health. Improving skin health is one of ACV's weakest health benefits. While acetic acid is antibacterial, there's no proof it improves skin health or prevents skin diseases. Keep in mind, anything that kills bad bacteria also kills good bacteria. Like the old song lyrics, manufacturers like to accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative. Most people believe dietary supplements and foods like ACV are safe and risk-free. ACV comes with known health risks like eroding tooth enamel, decreased potassium absorption, throat irritation, chemical skin burns, and interfering with medications like insulin, blood pressure, and laxatives. Some ACV facts include that it is 5% acetic acid like most consumer vinegars. It's about 95% water. Use it to flavor foods, make salad dressings, and pickle foods. Like other vinegars, ACV has no calories or vitamins and a few minerals. Its health benefits are anecdotal or based on small animal and human studies. And it can interfere with some prescription and OTC drugs. Some ACV myths include excess belly fat just melts away, controls blood sugar and reduces blood glucose spikes, it improves heart health, it lowers your triglycerides and cholesterol, rejuvenates your skin, and only kills harmful bacteria. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.